Lately, pretty much everyone with an office job has tried working from home for at least a day or more. Even though you're comfortable at home, those long hours in front of the computer can take a real toll on you. Your neck, your shoulders, they can all get really sore, especially if you're playing a video game after working for 8 to 12 hours in front of a computer. Many of us are also sitting on the sofa all day, which often leads to poor posture and a painful back. What's up everybody? So today what we want to do is help you get accustomed to your work from home lifestyle. First thing we're going to show you is a couple stretches to help relieve the tensions you get from sitting all day. And the second thing we're going to do is a quick home workout that you can do with just your body weight. So let's have a look. So allow me to introduce your model for the day, Leon. What's up guys, I'm Leon, the other co-founder of Stride. Um, Stride is a fitness app that keeps you motivated to achieve your fitness goal. So you can check us out on Android and also iOS devices down in the links in the description. So the first we're going to do is teach you how to stretch out muscles that get quite tight from sitting all day as you're working from home. So it's really up top with your traps and your shoulders. So let's stretch out those traps. So Leon, please rotate your head to your left. Yep, and now take your left hand and start tugging your head down. Perfect. We're going to hold this position for about three to five seconds. And then we're going to try the other side now, Leon. Yep, same thing. Perfect. So some of the mistakes people make is forgetting to rotate their head. So Leon, just try tugging your head to your left or your right without rotating your head. Now you're not really taking your strap into full extension here, so you're not going to get the full capacity of that stretch. So the next stretch is going to be for your lower back, all right? So that gets quite tight, quite painful, and sore after a long time from sitting down. So Leon, if you can grab your shin by bending your leg up, perfect. And try to keep your hips down, fantastic. Hold that for another three to five seconds. And then we're going to switch. Remember for all these stretches to breathe normally in through the nose, out through the mouth. And one big mistake people make is by lifting their hips off the floor as well. So try to grab your other leg from me, Leon. And then just tilt your hip up. Exactly. Once your hip comes off the floor, the stretches isn't really going to work. So for the exercise part of the video, we're going to do a circuit. You're going to be working for 45 seconds and taking a 15 second break in between every exercise. I'll show you three moves today and you can build to this as things get easier. So Leon, first move, body weight squats. Perfect. So make sure that you're going below parallel. That's when your butt goes below knee level. Perfect. And for those who find this too easy, you can actually grab a backpack. You can load these bad boys up to about 20 kilos if you wanted to and do it that way. Just show us a couple more. Perfect. So the next exercise is going to be mountain climbers. So Leon, let's show us the uh, traditional way of doing them. Good. Steady pace and make sure you're breathing normally. So if this is too difficult for some people, you can actually slow the whole movement down and do them leg by leg. Perfect. One after the other. Now, if it's too easy for you, you want to make it more difficult, you can go parallel or perpendicular. Exactly. There you go. Rotate the torso and just breathe through it. Nice, done. So the last exercise we're gonna be doing today is also to help stretch out those hip flexors. We're gonna be doing a alternating split squat into a body weight squat. Let's go. Beautiful, breathing out when you're coming up, that's it. Breathe out, perfect. Again, we're working at 45 seconds, taking a 15 second break in between. That's it. Hi everyone, I'm Randy, the founder of EchoCan. Hey, Alice. I got a question for you. What happened to our immune system after we exercise? I've heard that your body defends always drop a bit in the 24 hours after a workout. So if that is true, how can we keep from getting sick after a workout? Sure, so immune systems deteriorating really only applies to high intensity slash endurance athletes. So people who do marathons, triathlons, ultra marathons, those people can have their um, immune system deteriorate or suppress, we say, for up to 72 hours. But for us common folk, really what we want to worry about is not so much the immune system going down or suppressing, we just want to pay attention to our recovery time and our nutrition post-workout and pre-workout. So in terms of um, recovery, what we're talking about is sleep and also not working out too many times during your week. So if you're just starting out, maybe just work out twice a week and make sure you're getting adequate sleep every night. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for watching us today. Don't forget to check our next video on how to boost your immune system with a healthy smoothie. Stay safe everyone.